Barrett on the drive, goes inside, he throws it down! What a play from R.J. Barrett! Barrett out of Mississauga, Ontario. His dad is Rowan, on time on the Canadian national team. RJ, there's always a question about most guys, whether or not they're going to play. It doesn't even seem like it's a question with you. Why? Growing up, I was able to see my dad's Olympic jersey on the wall every day as I came into the house. So something like that has just been kind of ingrained in me. And then as well as I'm very competitive. I want to be better than my dad. I want my jersey to, you know, hang up there, um, kind of just move his over. So I want to be able to, you know, make it to the Olympics, but also just being able to play for Canada, such a great nation, you know, such a great country. It's a place that really you know, grew me and shaped me, so anytime I could represent the country, that's what I'll do. To be an Olympian is an amazing thing, and to be able to stand on a field for that year and know I am one of the best athletes in the whole entire world, money can't really buy you that. A leaner by Rowan Barrett goes. Do you remember watching your dad play? Yeah. Yeah, I remember watching my dad play. I was young, but I was old enough to know what was going on. What do you remember from those times? He could get buckets. I mean, he could shoot. You know, he was getting older in his career, you know, when I started to really pay attention, but he could always shoot. He was always aggressive, so I remember that. Oh, R.J. Barrett! R.J. Barrett playing the best basketball of his young career. It's a bright outlook when you have someone like R.J. Barrett leading the charge. I know his dad's smiling big. Your son's physical development is just, I feel like I see him every six months and each time he's, you know, mm -hmm. getting bigger and bigger. Where have you seen his biggest growth? I mean, one, definitely physically. I mean, you know, he's put on some weight to be able to take the rigors. And also the city you're playing in can impact what's happening. Like New York is not an easy market. Mm -hmm. They'll get at you um, there. So his resilience is one I'm very proud of as a father. Like, no matter what you're throwing at me, I'm gonna keep coming at you. I like that. RJ Barrett is coming to his own. He is becoming yes. a, a, a distinguishable player at this level. I feel good, you know, about what I'm seeing with him. I think he's still young, and uh, I think there's still growth, you know, to be made. You know, I like that he's not satisfied. Where would you say you are right now on the trajectory of your career? Just working every day, trying to get better. I've got some experience under my belt, been in the you know, playoffs a couple times, played Team Canada, I played the senior team a couple times. So it's funny because like I forget that I'm just, like still 23, so I'm like still really young. But like I've been able to have these experiences and having them early just helps me to now. I kind of know what it is I need to work on. I kind of know who I am and just trying to really just help this team. This is a huge moment for the Canadian national team. They've really been building up to this for a very, very long time. I know you're the GM. Yeah. If your son gets there, yeah. what does that mean to you? When my son gets there, I think um, it'll be a, a tremendous source of pride. That Olympic Games is uh, it's, it's an amazing, amazing thing. There's a reason why you see athletes crying there more than you probably see them anywhere else. I know what it feels like. I know what it does. And I know how it impacts your family. And so uh, I'd be tremendously proud for him and as well as all these other kids. You were the best of us. And when you marched into that stadium, we marched in there with you. You took us all in there with you because their whole life has led them to this moment. Right. So um, to see our guys and experience that with our guys will be amazing when it comes.